Hello everybody, it's Ison here. We are back with some more Binding of Isaac. We're gonna random and we got Blue Baby. You can hear the excitement in my voice. I uh, cannot wait to do this run. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, maybe... Okay, starting out with uh, 12 cents is pretty awesome. And we got Inner Eye. So things are already looking a lot better than they were just a few seconds ago. So we'll see how we do. Um, it's been a while since I've played Isaac, and I'm considering featuring it more regularly on my channel. I do enjoy Isaac, and I have a lot left to learn. So I think it might be fun to kind of learn together. But uh, yeah, definitely, uh, if this is an a show you like, it's one I'm still trying to decide exactly how I want to do, how much of it I want to do. Um, show your support if it's something you enjoy. Li uh, like, comment, sh um, share it with friends because it is a a uh, what am I trying to say it's a show or well, it's uh, a game that I'm still on the fence as to whether or not I'm going to continue so if it's something you do want me to continue definitely show some support so I know that but uh, yeah for now I mean, we're just kind of rocking at this boss fight it's a little scary a little scary but um triple shot is doing some work I'm very happy to get that soul heart and the Cuban meat is always always good um, one of my favorite orbitals well I guess there's not that many orbitals but I mean hey it's uh, better than a fly right and if we can get like a second level Cuban meat there we go let's just kind of toss some hey stupid corner spiders sneaking out on me but if we can get like a second level Cuban meat or I would absolutely adore that I mean, I've been told that if the third level Cuban meat isn't worth it, that's actually a bad idea and kind of lowers the effectiveness because you lose the orbital. But, you know, if we get that opportunity, we'll kind of take our, uh, we'll decide what to do when uh, the time comes. Okay, so a red heart, which is completely useless to me. Excellent. And let's, I'd like to get something to replace this poop as soon as possible. Ooh, box. Box is worth it. I mean, we've already gotten... Oh, God. We already got a soul heart from it. And, um... Monstro, I feel pretty comfortable taking out Monstro with a minimal amount of damage to myself. And that key is, like, kind of our lifeblood here. That's gonna let us go to the item room. And, uh, that's a huge deal. Because we didn't get really any, um... Consumables. We need more damage. Damage would be huge. Obviously, a bit more life would be great. Defensively, we're not in a good position, as well as offensively. Um, but we do have a setup to be in a great position. The inner eye is kind of a huge item for us. I mean, if we can make it to mom, we do get that permanent Polaroid invincibility, which is nice. I mean, really, really nice. Basically, every time we get hit, we get a five second shield, and uh, yeah. Okay, something sounded like it exploded, then didn't, so... Okay, we got through this uh, pretty comfortably. Didn't take any damage. Emperor card is a really good card. I'm gonna risk it. Bad gas. And a burnt penny. More bombs, I will always take. The Emperor card is a nice card. Um, teleports you right to the boss room. But, obviously it's something we're gonna hold on to for now. Uh, 13 cents. I'm gonna hold on to that for now. In case we get enough to get to the shop. We'll see. We'll see what we end up doing with that. We might end up go. Ooh, okay. Don't want to let him touch me. Because we're now at a point where one more scent and I'd be comfortable going to the shop. Obviously, we need another key. I'm going to be using this key on the item room. And we got telepills. Which took us. Eh. I mean, it took us literally to the next room. So. And we're good. Let's just go ahead and take care of that to make sure. 100%. And here, yeah, okay, we got an extra bomb. Bombs aren't really hugely valuable for us, since we do have like a 50% chance of getting one every time. And we got three bombs and two keys out of that, so that's good. PhD, uh, I'm happy for that. It's not directly damage, but we do get more uh, better pills, so all pills would be good, and they'll auto identify after a short time. So, yeah, decent item room. I mean, I would have, there's a lot more I would have liked other than that. But I'm not going to complain. Um, library? Library. Ah, slot machine. Slot machine, yeah. Not interested in it at all. 
I will buy this key, uh, and I think I'm actually going to go ahead and buy this pill. Since it's guaranteed to be good, and I definitely will buy that soul heart. The bomb down. Bombs are keys. I actually might pop that. I'm considering popping that. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're getting a lot of bombs from money drops. So, having the extra keys... I mean, that really will set us up. Ooh, that was the first bit of damage I took, actually. And we're taking all of it right now. So, having ourselves set up for keys for quite a while is really nice. We use our last bomb here. Because this uh, can drop money, uh, or it can drop bombs, both of which can give us more bombs. Or it can give us a health up pill that I will take. Ooh, I'm really happy to know that the health up pills in my rotation. That's fantastic. This little spider bitch is super frustrating. Okay, extra bomb. Good to have, good to have. Pageant Boy would actually be kind of nice right now. Well, not what I'd want, but I wouldn't complain too much. Simply because we get a ton of bombs out of it as well. More bombs. Good to have. This poop is useless. Okay, and on to the boss fight with Ken, which is whatever. I cannot believe I just took damage against Ken. I really should just quit this game, uninstall, and just really quit YouTubing forever. I took two bits of damage against Pen. I really should not be allowed to exist. That was terrible. Pen being like one of the easiest bosses in the game, and I just took two pieces of damage against him. That was absurd. Someday, Pen will die. It's going to be a bit of a slow fight, but he's almost done. There we go. Pen is down. Shot speed up. Not excited about it, but hey, whatever. Deal with the devil. Well, yeah. Neither of these look good to me for three soul hearts. I mean, dead cat would be interesting. But, yeah, having one soul heart every time I die. Now, I don't want to... It's not really... It's not worth three soul hearts for that. And obviously, Guppy's Paul does nothing for me. Seeing as how uh, I won't ever have red heart that's convert. I considered for a second grabbing both, which would have killed me. But I would have come back to life. Just for the opportunity opportunity to become guppy but honestly just not worth it uh seven cents for a map yeah i'll go ahead and take it actually and we do have another key on this floor we're good on keys though it's not a big deal so seven cents for the map definitely worth it um especially if we can get a compass that'd be phenomenal nice chain reaction there and i ran right into that one that was bad Okay, so item room, item room, game kid. Um, I'm happy. I mean, it could be, it could have been a lot of better things, but game kid's not bad. Game kid is nice. Okay, cool. A tinted rock that is going to make me incredibly happy. Got to bomb that. Almost ran right into my own bomb. One soul heart. I'm okay with it. I mean, it could have been a lot better. And this uh champion here will drop something i've got my fingers crossed for a soul heart of course not instead we get a red heart and now i really wish i hadn't bombed that okay so um yeah just moving on through we are doing a pathetic amount of damage i mean yes triple shot is definitely helping but some damage helps would be nice uh, there's a lot of things that could turn this run pretty awesome. Like we're, we're in a decent setup, but we're really missing a lot of important things. Damage, some kind of defense. Uh, you know, we'll play it one or two times. Ah, because it can give us keys. Or pills. Health up pill. Super happy about that. We'll keep playing. Um, life. Uh, not at all excited about that. Money. That's an extra bomb. I think I'm actually just going to go and play myself out on this. We've already gotten the shop on this floor. And every extra money we get is an extra bombs. Or a 50% chance of getting a bomb. So that's not bad. We used a bomb to get in there. Spent five cents. Got a health. Or essentially we got a spirit heart. And um, two bombs back. So not bad. Not the best trade in the world. But definitely I'm happy with it. Okay, Silkworm killed himself on my magical cube of meat. Um, 
So really, I'm kind of looking for the boss room at this point. There's a, I think there's a regular mob room. So we're gonna just take a peek in here. We're gonna open it, match stick. I really don't want that. I think that makes more bombs drop. But I mean, not better than the burnt penny by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, what is the, I don't know the waves of enemies on these rooms. I haven't done them enough to know the waves. Is it the turrets next? I am really tired of this room. We're just gonna go ahead and game hit through it. Maybe game hit through it. There we go. Oh no, it's just these heads. Okay, this is a lot of damage in this room. This is a bad scene. Okay, wow. I've taken, what, three bits of damage in this room? Not good. There we go, room cleared. We don't want the match tick, so let's move on. Kind of feeling top left for boss. But I could be completely wrong on that. Someday these will explode. There we go. And uh, we'll just check down real quick. This room is uh, honestly a little scary. Really didn't need to take damage there. Oh my god, this is so much bad damage. I will be very happy if this uh, little purple guy here drops me a beautiful, beautiful soul heart. Wow, he straight up dropped an eternal heart. No complaints from me. Got two bombs for that one bomb. Okay, well, actually, Eternal Heart is uh, effectively a spirit heart for us, so... It works out. It's just prettier looking. And a card. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? Two of hearts. Absolutely useless. This Emperor card is very tempting. It really is, but honestly, the longer we spend on these rooms, if we don't take damage, I mean, the more chance we have at spirit hearts, the more chance we have at more bombs. So, I kind of want to do a full clear in this floor. Sorry, it's going to take so long. Um, okay, this is going to be one easy room. If anything good happens to drop in there, we can bomb our way over. We have so many bombs and a way to renew our bombs that I don't feel bad. Actually, we're going to go ahead and do this. It's one cent and a 50% chance of a bomb. It might just pay for itself. It didn't, but I'm okay with it. We're just starting to build up money for the... Wow. That was a total misclick. Did not mean to put that bomb down. We're starting to build up money for the shop on the next floor. Since we did kind of spend a lot of money on that uh, gambling earlier. I'm not complaining. I'd be in a much worse position without that extra spirit heart. Uh, judgy, we only have three cents. But let's just keep our fingers crossed. He might pay out one more cent. Do it, Judgy. Uh, no luck. Absolutely no luck. Now, if I get Pageant Boy, um, Judgy could pay out, which would be fantastic. And I think I'm just going to do as much damage to him with this as I can, and let's get out of here before I get hurt. And, uh, yeah, we're at the point where he's not going to spawn any more worms, so we can just push him in this corner and beat the crap out of him with our crying. Excellent. And that was a fantastically easy fight. And, uh, our second level cube of meat. A little more damage output, never a bad thing. Now, I am hoping for some straight damage upgrades. That would be amazing. But the game has not seen fit to give them to us yet. Um, also hoping for a deal with the devil there. A little risky to take on Blue Baby, but honestly, there's a couple I definitely would take. Like, you know, Pact is essentially like, almost free. Um, okay, someday this will pay out. There we go. Six keys. Let's not look in our shop yet. Maybe our uh, secret room will have money in it. That would be phenomenal. That would be the best thing ever right now. Well, I mean, there's actually a couple, several things that could be better. You know, but they're fairly rare. Like, I mean, if we got, like, a doctor or a, um, a fetus or anything, you know, that'd be pretty fantastic. But realistically, I'm hoping for money. Okay. So let's check this one out. We are obviously not going to the curse room. Uh, we'll spend our one cent and get nothing for it. I should have blown that up. That was, uh, wasn't thinking much there. Where is our item room? Where is our item room? That is the big question. I'm hoping at the end of this, our item room will be found. That would be nice. Item room? Nope. 
we got a boss trap room, which uh, we'll see what's in there. I wouldn't mind going. Um, be there's a good yeah, there's a chance of getting a pretty good item in there. So I'm pretty excited to see that. One of the major advantages of Blue, well, one of the advantages of Blue Baby is I can always go in boss trap rooms. They're never going to be off limits to me. So let's see, Squeezy. Yes, we will do that. We get two spirit hearts and a uh, tears up. And we just have to fight what Monstro and uh, the three pens. Which oh, we're doing significantly more damage now. That's fantastic. Monstro is melting a lot quicker than he did before. I guess I wouldn't call this melting per se, but he's definitely done. Oh, I cannot believe I did that. He's definitely dying a lot quicker than before, which is nice. I mean, we definitely needed that. Bosses were just painfully slow, which gave us more and more opportunities to take really dumb damage. Uh, no secondary drop, but I can't complain. We got Squeezy. Um, we came out of that with more Spirit Hearts than we uh, entered with, and we did get the tears up. All in all, our health is decent. Um, Obviously, I'd hope for a lot more, but our health is decent. Wow, it isn't if we keep doing that kind of stuff. So, here we're just gonna take it easy. Stop taking dumb damage is the biggest part of this fight. Oh, got Cuban Meat doing some work there. Being a bro and a uh, bum friend absolutely not what I wanted to see. But hey, I mean, there's a chance you'll drop more spirit hearts for us. Let's just go ahead and do our boss right now. And it's the Fallen, which is scary, but especially with our speed. Our speed's real bad. This is a scary boss, but um, really is a good one for us because we get a essentially a free deal with the devil item out of this. And I should really stop taking damage. That would be fantastic. And at this point, we'll go ahead and game kid. See if we can take one of these out. Come on, get back here, Fallen. Why are you so fast? So we failed to take one out. This guy should be pretty close. There we go. Let's see if we can just avoid his damage. Oh my god. So Fallen has done a number on us. A lot of damage we've taken here. That was bad. We do get Guppy's head, which is spirit. <sighs> And Scapula. Scapula, I cannot in any way remember what it does. We're just gonna use Guppy's head once. That was pretty much the worst deal with the devil item we could have gotten there. And we're gonna continue on through the rest of this level just to see if, you know, we can get lucky. Get a couple items, or not items, get a couple consumables, or just die. I mean, one or the other. One of those things will work out for us. Wow. I would have liked, ah, man, there's almost anything in the ball, um, boss room I would have liked more. Hell, even quarter would have been better. That was not a good drop. Okay, so this is a terrible room. This could be the death of us. We are incredibly low. Incredibly, incredibly low. We're still doing pretty mediocre damage, but the worst part is, even more than our damage, we have no way to regen our health. We've got nothing to give us back spirit hearts, and that is terrifying because I'm sitting here at half of one. Give me a spirit heart? Sun card. I'm actually going to pop that. I thought that brought me up to three life. I was wrong. Well, you live and learn, and then you cry a little bit because you learn things that are bad. And uh, Scapular just saved us there. Because uh, that was bad, a bad scene, really. Oh, close. There we go. And coming up this way was absolutely not worth it. I cannot believe I blew my sun card like that. We're just going to pop the upper card. Use that to leave. Um, Guppy's head is nice. Like, I, I like it. But absolutely not going to trade my game kid for it. It's my game kid and you can't take it away. 
so that was bad. We're down to half a heart. And nope. I was really, really hoping there. We have one penny. Probably not worth it there. This room could easily be the death of us. We're going to focus on that guy first because he scares me the most. There we go. This champion will at least drop something. Fingers crossed that it's a spirit heart. No, it is a penny. And what we got here? Book of Belial. Book of Belial we'll take. Extra damage is always good. And we're probably going to have to pop it early and often. Because we are just not in a good scene. Like, we have nothing in the way of life. One hit, we are dead. At least these little bits of guts won't get us. These won't be the thing to end our, our run today. So, what do I? how do I feel about this run? I feel we are screwed. I did a lot better than I had expected. Not gonna lie. I did not expect to still be alive at this point in the game. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pop a blow for this room. Scapular is doing some work. Thank you, Scapular. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Um, I have to say, more pills would have been nice. We have not get, gotten very many pills. I have absolutely no idea why that popped. We're going to take a shot. Uh, Empress card. Not bad. Uh, give me a soul heart. Give me a soul heart. Thank you. And we're going to go ahead and blow this up. There we go. More money. Bum friend. Of course you did. Uh, this is a bad scene. Let's see. Oh, we managed to dodge her out. I'm actually very surprised with that. Kind of wish I'd saved Book of Belial for this room. And obviously, we're, we're going to want to try to get a Book of Belial charge before we go into the boss. And we will be spinning a bomb in this room. Okay, cool. That room worked out well. Bum friend is not really being a bro, I'm going to be honest. Uh... Wow, that was a bomb for a single red heart, which is useless. Probably shouldn't have picked up Bomb Friend at all. I was really just hoping, you know, I don't think he can even drop Spirit Hearts now that I think about it. That was just in every way a mistake. Because we are going to be pretty much shut out from shops, which is terrible. I mean, unless we are faster and stronger, harder and longer than Bomb Friend. Shops ain't gonna be a thing for us. We're gonna draw. Oh my god, I cannot believe I accidentally used that. So we used our Empress card, which I really wanted to have saved for the boss. And, um. Whoa, that was close. These guys are really being jerks, I have to say. Okay, come on. Ran right into him there. That's good. At least he's down, and he did drop us a pill, which is nice. Oh, don't pick it up now. There we go. And what is our pill? Let's leave the room. Speed up. We will take that. Okay. And uh, now it's on to the boss. Like the rest of this room, I kind of, I wish I could go to that secret room. But honestly, I'm afraid of losing too much life before the boss. So we're just going to go to the boss straight away. And it's Loki. Not sure how I feel about this. I mean, this could be a good thing. Loki isn't too terribly hard. I mean, his bomb flies do change everything. They're kind of a... Like a bit of a random factor here. I really hate this spike thing. At least uh, that is helping take care of a little bit of the bomb flies. We're doing a lot of damage against Loki. That's nice. Still would have liked to have been able to pop the Empress card in this fight. Uh, had we not screwed that up, Loki would be down by now. And I wouldn't have to be doing these like Matrix dodges around him. That was luck. Absolute and complete luck dodging that one. Oh, okay, we took some damage there. We worked out. Coin uh, pill. Pill purse, not bad. Two telepills, which is terrible. Bad gas. Yeah, this didn't work out. We are going to go ahead and pop both telepills in the desperate hope of an IM error room that just changes this run around. So, fingers crossed. Into the super secret, where we get Guppy's Paw, which does literally nothing for us. So now I guess we're going on to the secret room. 
and hoping something changes for the better here. We are taking a lot of damage. Scapular just saved us. Okay, Scapular's being a bro. We've been saved several times by Scapular now. Okay, we're good. I not going to that curse room. Screw that. Uh, this should be a pretty easy room. Wow. Should be a pretty easy room. We're still going to take damage on it because we are scum. Okay. Just kind of take it easy here. I'm getting a little bit lax in the commentary because I'm very scared for my life. I should not still be alive. Let's just throw that out there now. Okay, and we can just bomb through here and we can skip the rest of this floor. Something good, something good. Six cents. Absolutely not what I was looking for. But hey, what I should have expected. I was, ah, man, if we had gotten like a dime in there, we could have gone to the shop. A dime or two nickels. Come on, be a bro. Be a bro, RNG Jesus. But that's fine. Let's just move on. Head on down out to the next level. I think with the six cents, actually, we are going to try Judgy here. Um, I mean, there is a chance he'll pay out with six. I mean, maybe he'll, maybe, even if he just pays out with consumables. Actually, no, if he paid out with just consumables, that'd be a little sad. Especially because he's giving us a bunch of red hearts. Thank you, bro. And essentially, we just paid five cents for a spirit heart. Not bad. Hell, we've done that early in the run. We paid five cents for a spirit heart. So this is not bad, not bad. It's gonna give us a little more survivability. Um, I probably should have gone and taken like one damage before I did that. And we're gonna take this bad gas pill down with us to the next floor. And what do we got? Depths too. At least it isn't catacombs. I mean, that's a thing, right? We're gonna immediately take uh, all that, all the damage that we just gained from that five cents. But hey, I guess the other way to look at it is that we'd be dead if we did if we hadn't picked up that five cents. That's how we should look at things. There we go. Barely managed to avoid that. We're gonna go up here where I should have been going in the first place. Drop a bomb. I keep hitting caps lock instead of shift. Drop a bomb there, drop a bomb there, take some damage. Uh judge a uh, beggar friend is going to be a total dick to us. And Red Patch, I have no interest in. And then we're going to get Epic Fetus. And immediately hurt ourselves, but that's fine. So... I just want to point out, this, this run is definitely not one. Because I have, like, no life. Which is a big deal. Uh, Epic Fetus is definitely making this run possible, but not one by any stretch of the imagination. We need a lot of life to make this happen. Um, we also need to stop taking real dumb damage like that. Okay, so let's head up in this way. These spikes are just total, the opposite of bro. They're not good is basically where I'm going with this. We will take essentially a, bo a boss trap room for... I'm not good with Epic Fetus. It's been, uh... I don't get to practice it much. It's, uh... I think the statement needs to be made here. Okay. So let's just take out these worms. I should probably actually try to, like, hit them instead of just kind of dancing around the issue. Peep. The only reason I went ahead and did this boss trap room was because I have Epictetus. It's actually kind of hard to keep track of it. Like, I'm not trying to make excuses now. Epictetus is making this uh, run a hell of a lot easier. But, um... We might as well go in here. It's free. Uh, Anarchist Cookbook I have no interest in. Book of Sin? Yeah, we'll, we'll pop it. We got a bomb out of it. No biggie. Book of Belial. I actually don't think Book of Belial helps us now. So we'll actually roll with Book of Sin. Which is probably something no one's ever said. Uh, super Secret Room. I'll, I'll, I'll start looking for it. Um, just because it'd be nice. And it's free to check. 
I mean, it definitely could help us out. So let's just roll on through here. Uh, I guess we go down. There we go. That worked out for the best. This room is clear. And our boss room has been found, which is good. Oh. Cleared out. Isaac's head. Yeah, no, that's not where that's not better than bloody a uh, burnt penny right now. So we're gonna go ahead and do mom the mom fight. Wow, just walk right into that. Crowd control is actually still an issue here. Not much of an issue, mind you. Mom is still gonna go down. Like, I just killed myself with Epic Fetus. Wow. <laughs> I wanna thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, have a great day.